Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Look at the wild turkeys crossing the road. I know you probably can't really see them. There's two of them going across right now. One of them is already across the ditch. <laughs> but anyway, so we are out here the day after tearing out, I'm gonna call it the beaver dam pond. Yeah, that big massive body of water <laughs> that was being held back by the beaver dam. It is the day after. I said, man, I gotta get back out there and check things out real quick. And so check this out, you guys. The water, once again, has dropped from when we opened it up. You see how low the water level is? Yeah. <laughs> I told you, it wasn't gonna stay up. It's not gonna stay up because of how dry it's been and of course we don't really need a bunch of rain right now with it being harvest season we're trying to get peanuts dug up and harvested and then soybeans is next however that rain that we got definitely has helped the soybeans because there's some places in the soybean fields and in some of the peanut fields where it was needing some rain so we're not going to complain about that rain but <laughs> we don't need a bunch more rainy days because that will prolong our peanut harvest. But check that out. Look at the water level on the sides of the banks there, you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But we know that don't necessarily mean they haven't rebuilt. <laughs> oh yeah, and so yesterday when I was out here, um, once I, once I left from out of here and went home and took the trail camera out of my backpack, man, that thing was super hot. The batteries were burning hot, man. And I went to try and turn the trail camera on again. Check out that, man, that is beautiful. <laughs> and it still wouldn't come on. So I took the batteries out and I put the trail camera over one of the heater vents in the house overnight and this morning i put some new batteries in it and turned it on and it came on so i don't know maybe some water had gotten somewhere it shouldn't have been and now that it's dried out it's working again so i'm glad that it's working again and we'll be able to set it up check it out now i know you guys talking about that island there it's not really a problem though it's not really a problem. And no, I didn't bring my big saw to cut that piece of wood yet. We'll have to save that for another day. Um, it's 70 degrees right now. Feels cooler though. The wind is blowing at like nine miles an hour. Humidity is at like 50%. So it feels pretty cool out here. But you guys, how about the bear that we saw? Oh my goodness, man. You know, this place here, oh, look at this banana spider. I would have walked right in it. But man, there's so much stuff out here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crazy, man. So I actually want to set the trail camera up at the beaver dam pond across the road. I'm not gonna pull that stake up. I'm gonna leave it right there. And you guys remember the gift video where I got, yeah, they have put a little bit in here, you guys. They have put a little bit in here. But y'all remember the gift video where I got the handheld tripod from Brother Judah? I'm gonna use that. Hopefully I can wrap it around a tree or something back there to set up the trail camera. Wait a minute, I hear something. What was that? All right, now, don't be doing me like that now. <laughs> Alligators and bears and coyotes, whatever else is out here. <laughs> I can't be out here and hearing some crazy noises. Might take off running. <laughs> 
But yeah, this water level, you guys, that is, that's looking good there, man. That is looking good. I need to cut that right there. We'll get it at some point. I want to get back across the road. That's my main uh, goal for today. Look at this, man. That is just wonderful. Raccoon been out here. Yep. Trying to see if I seen any bear print. That right there looks a little bit weirdish. Uh, yeah, man, this is becoming an official channel here, you guys. Okay. Looking good over here. We're gonna go on across the road now. I'm not gonna walk over there. I am sorta <laughs> wanting to put the trail camera back up over here, but uh, we're just gonna try it out over there. See what it'll pick up over there for the time being. Okay, let's see, where did we enter in at? Uh, right here. Oh, mo, 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 come on. I didn't open up this path for you spiders. I know it's a perfect opportunity for you to string a, a web across there because I did open it up. Oh man, look at that poison right there. And I'm about to trip on this vine. Come on, get out of my way. Trying to make me fall right on the poison. Okay, so there's nothing in between here and the culvert because I actually checked again yesterday. Y'all remember how I kept saying, man, that water, it's not really moving much. The coast was clear. And I got spider web all over my arm. Another spider web there. Let's see, it looks like I went that way, but I think I came that way when we was leaving out. I guess I need to go this way uh, just to keep an eye on the creek. Make sure there's not any new erected dams. Uh, oh yeah, this is nice and I don't know where was I at where I dropped so low. I think I was right here. I dropped crazy. Oh, 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 oh. I dropped crazy low, man. It might have been further back there, I think. Oh, that got low. Let's walk over here to Number one upstream. Who is that? That brother Larry. Look like it might be. I need to get his number. Probably can get it from his brother. Or I might stop by his house. Wow, check this out you guys. Compared to yesterday. Yes, sir, buddy. <laughs> we put some work in, as always. We make a great team, right? 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 Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll call that number one upstream here at Gator Creek. We'll call it that for now. Uh, 
this might have been the place where it dropped low on me because this right here looks pretty so, ooh yeah yeah pretty soupy there but hey all the water is drying up around here huh Wait a minute, we went this way. Uh, that's still a lot of water over there, ain't it? Uh, they probably rebuilt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they not playing with they, uh, with they dam over here. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I knew they was gonna do this. And you know what? I'm evaluating the tree. This tree right here, or maybe even this one, would probably be a good tree to put the trail camera on. You guys know I got to show you the dam from this view before we get it torn out. It's gonna be a lot of stick throwing this time. All right, let's work on it. Let's see. Okay. I guess this must be the time of year for duckweed. I don't know about stepping down there. Let me get my 
my beaver cane. <laughs> Wood. you guys oh yeah oh yeah it's dropping you guys it is dropping quickly let me see if I can get around this tree 
to get you a little closer. It is dropping quickly. After you tear it out that first time, man, the second time is all the more easier and it's gonna flow better. I don't know if I should be doing this without the headband or the potato rake. But I know y'all like to get up close in person, man. <laughs> and every time we tear it out, it just gets deeper. That's what we want. I mean, it's it's down a good bit. I mean, look at the the damn line. I believe uh, we might try and take a walk. I, I ain't gonna promise that. No, I ain't gonna promise that today. But at some point, I do want to walk around that way. I don't know if it drains low enough. We might can walk out there in it. I got time today to wait a little while for a few minutes for it to drop down. It shouldn't take as long today as it did yesterday because there's not as much water out here. But we'll see. I'm definitely gonna dig this deeper. Careful. If we get it down that deep, they're gonna have a problem. The water drops that low. that thing to <clears throat> break and send me falling that way. <laughs> Pretty low. Buddy. Woo. Feel like it just keep dropping lower too, man.
All right, so while it's draining some more, let's see if we can find somewhere to set up the trail camera. All right, you guys, we got the tripod here. Let me tighten that up. And of course it screws on. If I was using the GoPro, I would have to put the little adapter thing on it. Let me make sure it's gonna come on again. I already reset the date and formatted the SD card. All right. Let me see. Oh man, that's actually further away than when I was looking at it earlier. Hmm. That might be a problem. <laughs> we might have to find a, a stick that we can jug in the ground and put maybe over here. Oh Lord, my potato rake. Definitely want to put it low. You guys seen how well it being low worked. Oh, that is like, that is convenient, ain't it? <laughs> but that's sort of far away, though. I mean, we can try it. We are going to try it. poison on that tree. You guys, I mean, the beavers are slick. We know that. Oh, y'all, can y'all see me over here? <laughs> I'm talking to you and probably got out of sight, but I think we're gonna try it there. If not, we'll get we'll grab a stick and jab it in the ground somewhere. You guys, I'm chilling out here letting the water drop as you can see. And I think I heard the beaver. Over that way. It swam off already. I gotta put some more off on because uh, the mosquitoes are swarming like crazy. <clears throat> I heard something. I say it was the beaver. I hope it wasn't an alligator. <laughs> I've been sitting over there quiet. I don't want to fall down there, that's for sure. Oh, I don't see anything. I can't see much anything because there's too many leaves. But I tell you what, that water is draining out of there, man. Drain it. Okay. Just wanted to check in. I'm going to let it drain some more. Alright, you guys. Let's uh, 
Let's see if we can take a little stroll. Uh oh. I hear some quads, maybe some side by sides. I still don't know if we can walk out there though. I want to try and walk alongside the dam. It's probably going to get pretty soft over there too. I should grab the machete though. I'm being lazy. I don't want, I don't want to walk to the backpack, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, man, they had this thing built up right nice. It goes a long ways around here, huh? Oh yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a lodge. Look at the sticks piled up there and the dirt. I know it's a fallen tree, but them sticks don't just get piled up there like that by themselves. I believe we can agree on that, huh? Now this right here is gonna get sketchy. If I, if I drop in that mud right there, I'm in trouble. I am gonna be in trouble, you guys. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is real sketchy. But we drained, it has drained. Oh gosh, what is that? I know, what is that I see way out there? Man, that almost looked like a lodge too, but that thing is way tall. Can't be, that just gotta be a root from a tree, gotta be. <laughs> That's crazy, what I'm seeing. But I, I might just be seeing something else. Like I said, it might just be a tree. Gosh, I'm crazy. This is Gator Creek. Lord have mercy. Y'all put me up to this. <laughs> okay, that feels a little bit solid right there. That feels solid, even though that mud is <clears throat> soupy. Ooh, disgusting, nasty. I need to break that because I don't want to walk over there. Mm. Being a toughie. Okay. Let's see here. Wow, you guys. Can you see it better now what I'm talking about? Them sticks there, man. Ow. That felt like a sticky briar on me. Yeah, I definitely should have brought the machete. This is a dam all the way along here. They got it dammed up all the way along here. Okay, it drops right here. I believe we got a peanut field. Not too far right there. All of this stuff here would dry up because it's not supposed to be water here. Must be a fish. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back and inspect that over there, man. That's one. That thing is tall. Oh, that drops low. Wow, man. Y'all see this, man? This is this is damn. The beavers did all this just to hold the water in. Okay, now this right here gets deep. Oh. This is like another father beaver dam, huh? Hmm. 
Man, I'm feeling so adventurous right now. I'm feeling crazy too. I must be crazy. I must be crazy. <laughs> it must be the spirit of the Lord upon me again. <laughs> We're almost to that spot that I said. Okay, so the ground gets higher right here. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Starting to see some some property there. I don't want to be just treading. Uh, I've come this far though. Crazy. Y'all see that right there? I think it's a fallen tree. Yeah. I don't see any sticks piled up on it. Yeah, I see the tree. That's a that's a tree root. Okay. My curiosity has been killed. We're going back. We're going back. <laughs> Oh yeah, hoo hoo hoo. Beavers are gonna be angry at us. I can't believe I'm out here like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I'm just ready to get back to where we were. <laughs> And so the way that this dried up, they probably got another damn way, way somewhere. Because see now, they're not gonna have any water to help them move sticks and things to rebuild. It's gonna be more problematic this time. They gonna have to tear down one of their own dams and let some water through and help them out because I mean this thing is this thing is drying up it is drying up you guys now I think we can oh I was just about to say you think we can walk over there let's see oh my gosh I am crazy I am crazy I am crazy oh look at this look how hard it is right here That's definitely a beaver lodge. Definitely. The tunnel right there. Oh lordy. I better be careful. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lordy. Be with us, Lord. <laughs> I can imagine a beaver poly somewhere over there where there's more water at. Oh, that dropped. Wow. Okay. Yep. Oh. 
No, I said I wasn't gonna walk over here. There's nothing to see over there. Probably just an angry beaver that I don't want to encounter right now. <laughs> okay. We got victory for now, don't we? Yeah. This is another win under our belt. I was worrying about it being deep in the water here, but it's not that deep. It's just worse over here by the mud because it's mud instead of water. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty cool trip there, huh? <clears throat> the water is still flowing out of here. We can get that mud broke up. Uh oh, there's something there. <clears throat> there we go. If the water can continue to drain, this will become another historic site like Mother Beaver Dam number one. <laughs> That is deep. <clears throat> but being that the water hasn't dropped lower than this right now, they can build with that. Anyway, y'all yeah, know, <laughs> I'm gonna say it. But it always happens. I wasn't intending to do this much work. I wasn't intending to be out here this long. <laughs> but it is what it is, huh? What y'all think about that truck camera there, though? Should I leave it on that one or put it on that one? Ah, I don't know, man. I'm still really debating sticking a stick it's got to be a strong stick that I can jab way in the dirt, though. I mean, but that would be sort of sketchy, though, because if it falls, it's going to fall in the water. You know what I'm saying? The beavers might even... You know what? No, I'm not going to do that, because the beavers might try and take the stick off. They might try and use the stick. <laughs> Yeah, that would be, but if I put it right here though, I'm gonna figure something out. I'll check back in. All right, you guys, thanks to the beavers, I found that nice tree right there and I jabbed it way in the mud. I think I'm gonna put it on that instead of over here. That way it'll be a little closer to the water and we can get it a little lower if I knew that this trail camera would get triggered up there, I would leave it up there because I really don't want to put it over the water. Because if the bear comes out here, <laughs> he's going to knock it down and it's going to fall in the water for sure. But uh, we're going to wrap it around this tree here. Wait a minute. Let me straighten it out. A little more all right so probably I can 
with the way that it swivels, I think I'm gonna wrap it around there better this time. All the legs. And we'll see what we can. Oh no, don't slide down. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see here. Now that is swivel around and we can have it. Ooh, that, that swiveling, that dual swivel action is sweet. That's like my magnet. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that'll be better there, you guys. I think it'll be better there. As long as something don't come in. Lord have mercy. No. <laughs> I really should put it over land instead of water like that. But that's pretty good right there. I think that's pretty good. Even though y'all know with the stake we had it lower than that. It was lower than that. We're going to try it. We will try it. And get on out of here too man should start counting down yes all right I don't know when I get to come out here again how soon how many days it'll be Okay, man, that's sort of sketchy, man. I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna try it, you guys. Let's get on out of here before it gets dark. It's about to get dark, though, because we're in the open space. When we get through them trees, it's gonna get dark on you. Uh, we came that way, didn't we? It'll be all right. There's not going to be any water to see on the other side of the road like it was when we was out here and opened it up the first time. So when I get to the truck, that's going to be it. <laughs> I definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Your company is very welcomed. <laughs> mm. uh, man, I'm going to need some water to rinse these boots off with. Because when I get to the truck, there's no water right there. There's a lot of mud out here. But anyway, if you've enjoyed watching, make sure you smash that like button for us. Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and as always we'll see you ow, ow ow come on man I was supposed to have a smooth ending coming out of here <laughs> it was gonna end as soon as I stepped out of the woods and seen the Tahoe but no the thorn bush wanted to mess that up Okay, and as always, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.